breaking news today, folks. Actually, this was breaking late yesterday. Leslie Headland, the former assistant to Harvey Weinstein, her pet project, The Acolyte, streaming on Disney Plus, has been canceled after abysmal finale ratings. So I got to say, as a business person, this doesn't come as a surprise. As a content creator, I was so hoping for a season two. Now, before I jump in, everybody just wanted to thank the 18,000 plus of you that have subscribed to the channel. Um, if you're, if you're new here, one thing you can do to really help out the channel is, uh, hit that subscribe button. If you've checked out some of my past content, you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment before you leave. It helps, it helps out the channel as far as with the YouTube algorithm helps get my videos promoted. And I do appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day to, to check out my, my little four to six to eight minute videos. So with that, let's dive on in, shall we? Thatparkplace.com, John F. Trent. Leslie Headland's The Acolyte canceled after abysmal finale ratings. A new report, which came from Deadline, and apparently Deadline's got some inside sources, uh, says the story of The Acolyte will not continue, with Lucasfilm opting not to proceed with the second season of the Star Wars offshoot starring Amanda Stenberg, sources tell Deadline. Well, what about that final scene with Yoda? What about Darth Plagueis, who was just, you know, hanging out in a cave kind of creepily? You know, questions that we're never going to get, we're never going to get answers to. This report comes in the wake of Nielsen releasing its data for the week. The Acolyte series finale aired. The show only managed to garner 335 million minutes watched. That was less than the two episode premiere, which brought in 488 million minutes watched. Nielsen's viewership numbers reflect a significant decline in, in reviews per episode of the series on IMDb. The first episode received 26,000 reviews, while the finale only received 11,000. Not only did the show receive poor viewership, but those who did watch did not like it. Some people watched it just for the comedy. I mean, I know this wasn't labeled as a comedy, but... It was a comedy, a comedy of errors. The show has a 4.1 out of 10 with the plurality, 45.8% of all reviews being one out of 10. Now, speaking of reviews, um, over at Screen Rant, they just had to interject this in here. Um, There's a sense in which the Acolyte never really had a chance. A vocal backlash began on social media long before the show's release with showrunner Leslie Hedden proving particularly controversial. That's because every time an episode came out, she went on some podcast and, and did some rant about people not liking her show. It was all the fans' fault, which, which is typical. Because the fans are to blame, not the creatives. Now the creatives, creatives created a perfect. They created a perfect um, uh, episode, perfect storytelling. Yeah, and and Screen Rant goes in to even further a review bombing campaign meant meant the acolyte struggled to make headway against such a negative buzz. Guys. Why is it always review bombing for a negative? People don't review review bomb to prop up a, a, a specific um, TV show or movie. That never happens. I, I myself, I don't believe the Acolyte was review bombed. I think people just didn't like it. And they expressed themselves that they didn't like it. And it didn't help that the show was far from perfect. Two flashback episodes drained momentum, while pacing and dialogue was often problematic. Yeah, no kidding. So, of course, this made the waves everywhere. The Acolyte Season 2 of Star Wars series gets a shocking update. Lucasfilm and Disney Plus will not go forward with the Star Wars The Acolyte Season 2.
While the Acolyte was received fairly well by critics, Deadline notes that the Star Wars fan base largely rejected it. Viewership over the course of the series dwindled. In Deadline's, re Deadline's report, they said that the two-episode premiere on June 4th garnered 4.8 million views. This was the biggest series premiere on Disney Plus in 2024. Well, it's pretty easy to be the biggest series premiere on Disney, Disney, on Disney Plus when there isn't really a lot of things happening as far as new shows being released. At least not that I can tell. You can correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I, I don't recall a lot, of, a lot of new shows being released on Disney Plus in 2024. Well, Agatha's coming out later this year. Uh, Screen Geek. The Acolyte's been canceled after one season. Already went through Screen Rants. The Acolyte officially canceled. Variety. The Acolyte is dead. It's no more. Star Wars series won't return for season two. The news comes at once as a shock given how much of season one finale ended on a cliffhanger and teased several plot lines for season two. And not much of a surprise given the widely opposing reception for fans and the less than robust viewership that appeared to drop off after the series premiere in June. They all kind of say the same thing. No season two for the Acolyte as Disney reportedly cancels failed Star Wars series. So there you have it. Former assistant to Harvey Weinstein's pet project, The Acolyte, is done. It's no more. It's met its maker. Was she deserving of season two? No, she wasn't. This, this show was not deserving of season two. Now, would I have liked to see the season two? Yeah, as a YouTuber, content creator? Yeah, bring it on. The more crap you put out there, the more content it gives us to make. <laughs> Just being honest, folks. So what do you guys think? Comment down below. Acolyte. Do you think it deserved a season two? Share your thoughts. While you're at it, please, 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 if you would, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.